Everyone is not a chosen one. And I understand this is gonna ruffle somebody's feathers, me going into detail about this, but if it brushes past your ego and you feel some type of way, then move out the way. Now, if I came on your For You page and you resonated with some of my messages, you already know you're a chosen one and chosen ones already know who they are. So the thing is, this message is geared towards people who like to argue with the first statement. People like to come and say, you guys aren't chosen. We all are here for the same thing. We all are this. We all, we all aren't anything. Let's start there. Someone identifying their mission in this world and saying that they're a chosen one because they know the term now and they know exactly what they've been their entire life should not make people feel some type of way to try to tell somebody else who they aren't. Who are you to tell somebody what they are? That plays into people's ego. They get mad again that you know who you are, you've accepted your mission and they don't know who they are. I'm tired of keep saying it, but it's true. Okay, so into the next point as to let me get into the breakdown. Oh wait, let me go ahead and say this part. Yes, we are all children of the most high. I wholeheartedly believe that, but not everyone is chosen. That's, that's just what it is. And people need to accept that reality and I'm gonna explain why. Now that it's understood that we all are children of the most high, chosen ones have had it harder than most people. One YouTuber I just came across recently said it perfectly. And I quote, the chosen ones, the pain that we go through and the pain that we experience is all a part of our purpose, all a part of our destiny. We feel and experience pain in which a normal person who is not of divine blood, it would have killed them. We are strong enough to withstand unspeakable things that have happened to us. We constantly absorb and transmute negative energies and enemies that try to penetrate who we are. And when I say quote, that was perfectly said by a YouTuber I just came across. Her name is Cosmic Royal Family. That's a perfect way of putting it. And I, I'm gonna explain a little bit more on to. So I'm gonna go into detail a little bit about it a little bit more. So basically what we've experienced, not everybody can handle that. The type of things we experienced, it would have literally destroyed and took some people out. Because you have some people out here who have been through not even half of what we've been through and they can't even handle that. And they, and they make it their whole life's purpose to operate in that energy. Or they just have a really hard time bouncing back and coming from it. And that's not to say that we are invincible. Of course, we, we go through things, but we understand our higher purpose and that we can't sit in it. So everybody wants to say we're all chosen, but you really don't even want to be chosen if you actually know what that entails. The stuff that we had to go, stuff that we had to endure. Constant confusion, constantly not feeling like we belong anywhere. People who try to say, we're all this, you operate in a pick me energy. Trying to get picked for a war, you wouldn't even survive. A mission to beat that you can't even complete. And the fun fact is it's not like we raise our hand and say, I volunteer. The chosen ones don't even want to be chosen. 